Today is September 5th, 2017. It's eight more days until my birthday. I'm gonna be turning 30 pretty soon. I decided to do something a little interesting today. I decided to go on my first long solo day trip. I'm heading up to Castello di Amarosa in Napa Valley. Got my GPS set. We're ready to roll. Out of there is the uh, battle damaged tower. You can have a slightly torn up flag there. It's a drawbridge. You see concierge before we're sitting further. Alright, my ticket for a tour is at 12.30, a little under 20 minutes. Hard to believe I drove myself all the way out here. It's pretty. show you how was the lifestyle in that medieval period. Glass windows and ceilings. And as I told you, this is made out of marble. The one right next to it and the one on the side, this is a different story. Fortunately, peace doesn't last forever. War period, 13th to the 16th century. People got greedy and they tried to conquer and take over half their people's. So we threw in an engineer and an architect they were the one in charge to train the workers how to precisely frame every structure, like this beautiful sustainable Roman arches, how to precisely cut every angle in the brick so you can obtain that. Also, how to sustain our Roman arch on the ceilings, how to place specifically stones and bricks to represent a specific eras around Europe with the type of construction we have here. Yeah. And all the white marks you can see on the stones are the mark that the chisel left after you hit it with a hammer. So imagine 14 years construction, imagine five days a week, eight hours a day, guy with a hammer and chisel just shaping each of the stones you see all around the property. All the metal pieces, they were hand forged by blacksmith in Italy. Even the needles and the locks on the doors were hand forged too. <laughs> 
because we have extreme weather in here. We are surrounded on two big mountains and the valley is a little sink down. So we have Baca Ranch Mountain on the east side and Mayakama Mountains on the west side. Do, these two big mountains are the responsible of the desert type of environment we have here in the valley. So all the breeze of the Pacific Ocean that is cold and humid actually stays outside the valley so the temperature here goes up and the humidity tends to go down. There is no rain during the growing season, there is no rain during the harvest season, and the only time we have rain is in the winter time, so it's around two to three months out of the year. I will try to get some grapes so you can taste them, but don't put your hands on the beans. Not only because you don't, also because there is bees inside of those ones. There is bees everywhere, so if you are allergic to bees, oh. just take care of too. I went over this way. You can smell that in here. So this is all the equipment and all the machinery we use to process the grapes, so we are able to uh, transform those grapes into wine. So let's step outside. Acidity in the air right now. 
try to remember what are you tasting because later on we're gonna taste our 2013 aromatic now that is like the finished version of the one we're tasting right now explore the new shop walk around but don't leave the room and i'll be back in a minute also your tasting is not gonna be with these guys we're gonna do the tasting in a private place so don't talk to them <laughs> This is a uh, pretty nice for a gift shop. Pardon me, my friend. I'm sorry. Slightly more private area. Okay, wow. All I had was the grape juice because I'm driving back by myself, but that's probably the best grape juice I've ever tasted. <laughs> nice it's just it doesn't taste chemically i guess that i guess that's the word it's fresh it's real i mean it's all made right here in this building so i have these uh wine bottle toppers that you can actually pour the wine out of <laughs> this one's kind of funny I think I've spent about way too much time here already <laughs> just uh, taking pictures etc. That's it for Castello di Omarosa for now. See you around.